Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. They'll also be in charge of keeping an eye on your site and your systems, watching for any unexpected drops in rank or search visibility and generally tracking your progress. They'll need to analyze your results, report them to you, and make recommendations if necessary to see better results. Agencies often have a critical advantage here because they have access to better tools and dashboards, and more collective experience to analyze the progress of a campaign. However, you'll likely pay for that expertise. As the admin duties of a campaign aren't imperative to its successful execution, it's up to your personal expertise and comfort how much you want to shell out for these services. They're generally not a major factor when it comes to calculating price. Peripheral services There are dozens of peripheral SEO services that could feasibly help your campaign, one way or another, but may not be necessary. They may be included in a package deal, so watch for them and consider how they affect your price social media marketing. Social media marketing is usually used to syndicate your content, earn more followers, and gain a peripheral mode of traffic as well as earning more potential for backlink building. Local SEO Local SEO is valuable for many businesses, but it functions on an algorithm separate from Google's core national ranking system. It demands a separate set of strategies, including local citation building and review optimization. It's going to cost you extra. Paid advertising. Some companies will lump in paid search advertising, mostly because it gives you some immediate results while you're waiting for the organic optimization results to kick in. However, don't be confused paid search ads have zero effect on your organic rankings. In-house SEO experts your first option is to hire a person or team of people to manage your SEO campaign. There are a handful of advantages to this, as you'll see, but overall it's a costly option. Upfront costs The upfront costs for an in-house expert may seem minimal, but depending on your chosen candidate's level of expertise, you may end up paying more than you expect. There's no setup fee like there can be with an agency, but you'll be paying this person's salary as they learn your company get acquainted with your systems, and start building the processes necessary to execute your campaign. Generally, independent contractors and agencies are better equipped to hit the ground running, so you may have a couple extra months of stagnation before you start to see growth. Monthly costs Your monthly costs are going to depend on the level of experience and ability your chosen SEO manager has. According to Glassdoor, the national average salary is $61,933, with a range between $36,000 and $88,000 a year. If you take the average, that translates to a monthly cost of more than $5,000, plus benefits. Even the minimum cost is $3,000 a month, which is pricey considering the range of services you're liable to get from an in-house expert. This doesn't even account for the fact that you may need to hire multiple people to manage your campaign efficiently. Think about it as one person going to be a true expert in writing, on-site optimization, link building, and all the peripheral strategies you'll need. You'll likely end up relying on contractors as well, which can drive the price up further. Working style and expertise There are some advantages to working with an in-house expert, however. Once they get going, they'll learn your brand inside and out, so you won't have to worry about the misalignment of goals. You'll have ultimate transparency and an immediate line of communication. You'll even have an outlet for managing communications with outside firms. However, you'll also have to consider the level of expertise of the expert you bring in. You're going to get what you pay for here. If you want your campaign to be managed and executed effectively, you can't hire someone on the lower end of the salary spectrum. You'll also have to decide between a specialist or a generalist, who will offer different skills at different salary levels. Ultimately, in-house experts are costly for small-time operations. Unless your SEO expert is capable of handling other responsibilities, or you have enough disposable revenue to keep several experts on salary, this is one of the most expensive options you'll face. 
Independent contractors and consultants Independent contractors and consultants are a diverse crowd, so it's tough to categorize them all into one group. Some of these variables include if you thought the salary range for an in-house expert was bad. Prices here fluctuate on an entirely different level. You'll find freelance writers working for as low as $10 an hour and professional consultants asking for thousands of dollars for a one-day workshop. I refer to this as separate from cost because it's all about how costs are presented. Some work hourly, some price their work per project or by volume and still others operate on retainer. Though you will find some generalist consultants, most freelancers are specialists, with one key area of expertise. That means you'll need to hire multiple freelancers at once to keep your campaign running smoothly or use them in conjunction with another approach. Upfront costs There aren't much in the way of upfront costs for a freelancer or consultant. They're used to doing this for multiple clients, so they'll probably jump in and start working as long as you have some direction for them. Since you may be paying per project, it may cost you a few hundred to a few thousand extra dollars at the start of your campaign to get your site set up properly depending on its current condition. Monthly costs The monthly costs for a network of freelancers is difficult to predict, since it depends on what freelancers you need, how experienced they are, and how you've pieced them together. Finding freelancers is a bit like finding furniture at garage sales. You'll have to look closely to make sure they're in the right condition and possibly haggle to get the best prices. Ultimately, if I had to put a number on it, this approach will probably cost you at least $1,000 a month for any reputable strategy. If you're paying less than that, I'd start taking a hard look at your strategic approach or the quality of the freelancers you're working with. At higher levels, prices increase linearly, but it becomes harder for all the moving pieces to work together so you might end up paying $5,000 to $10,000 a month or more for a loosely connected series of moving plates. Working style and expertise freelancers are nice because they usually specialize in one area, and you'll never have to worry about their quality of execution because you'll pay them based on their output. However, it's hard to find good ones, and even harder to find all the good ones you need to succeed. SEO agencies Finally, you have white label SEO agencies. And though I might be biased, agencies have a number of advantages over both the in-house model and the freelancer approach. Everything's in one place, so you don't have to worry about hunting anyone down. The agency will be on the hook to get you results. They'll hit the ground running when they start your campaign and best of all for the services you get, they're comparably very affordable. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.